Yo guys, I'm Fasty Rides. Welcome along today. If you're new to the channel, then welcome, welcome, welcome. Returning subscriber, it's nice to have you here. So today, we're just coming out for a little run. But first of all, I'd like to say Happy New Year to everybody. I hope you had a great Christmas. I know we're in March, but you know, it's better late than never, isn't it? I have actually done a couple of videos over Christmas, but they did rubbish, so it just devo motivated me. And I had a lot of other things going on at the time. Not happy bunny, is he? Maybe I'll just walk his little baby up. Oh well. Yep, so we'll get into that shortly. We'll just get through this little village and then we'll get up the hill. We'll just go for a quick tootle, I think. So, what has been going on in the world of Faste? Let's get up here. Warm well, them tyres up a little bit. Not a lot really. Well, there is. There's been quite a few things happening since Christmas and that. So, one of the things I did notice that I over Christmas I'd start to put on a little bit of weight, as everybody does. Put on tons of weight. Anyway, I got myself up to bloody uh, 98 kilograms, I think I was, which is just short of 16 stone. And for my height, that is obese. <laughs> it's heavy. So, I thought it was time to do something about it. And having a chat with my uh, the lad that I work with, who works next to me, who's very clever, knows his stuff, fit as a butcher's dog. In fact, we call him SAS guy. It looks like he's been in SAS. And he was saying, why don't you try doing some fasting? And he broke it all down and told me what to do and everything. So that's what I've been doing for the last six weeks, seven weeks now, actually. Uh, yeah, and I've, I've managed to, I'm down to 92 kilograms so far. I could, I could have done more, I could have lost a lot more than that, but I'm still eating rubbish in the time that I can eat. You know, a couple of biscuits and stuff like that. Stuff that I shouldn't really be eating, but I still am, because I didn't want to just cut it all off. So some days I'll do a 16 hour fast, and then some days I'll do a 20 hour fast. And uh, I do it all the time, even on Saturdays and Sundays. It seems to be really easy. I found it so easy to just do. I just basically don't have anything for tea. <laughs> I stop eating roughly around dinner time, maybe one or two. And then that's it until the next morning, nine o'clock. That's when I'll have some uh, scrambled eggs, like a little omelette type thing. Oh, sorry, let's go down here. Yeah, so I'm, I'm doing really well, actually, and I've, I notice it a lot in my, uh, you know, in my clothes and everything. And that had a knock-on effect with my face as well, because I'd lost some weight in my face, obviously. Which you do, you lose it all over the bloody place. It doesn't just come off your belly, it comes off everything. So I've noticed it in my legs, and my face, and my waist. Uh, but because I'd lost some weight in my face, uh, my helmet, you remember the new one of these that I had? Not this one, because this is a different one. <laughs> uh, was too big for me. So I sold that to a mate, and I bought this one instead. And this is the next size down, so this is a medium now, and it fits me snug as a bug. It really is nice. So basically, I can't put any bloody weight on now, so <laughs> I've got to keep going with it. Or I need to buy another helmet and the 600 quid a piece, these things. They're sodding expensive, but you can't put a price on safety when it comes to your bloody Swede, can you? That's the way I look at it. So what else have I been up to? Oh, I've been out on a few days out riding-wise with lads and stuff, but I just didn't feel like recording it because... I thought they were going to record it, to be honest. You know what it's like. You all don't want to have the same footage, so I just let them get on with it. 
mean, my mate Kayla, she's got a, a new bike. She's got a bloody tiger now. And her video's done really well from the Carts family. Uh, old Moist Decoy, he's got, a, got himself a, well, he traded his uh, GT, 1290 GT, in for a super adventure. Same as this, exactly the same as this. So I've been out with him last weekend. I took him round the auction wars. And I don't know why I didn't film that, to be honest. I should have done. Because it was a good day out. Glass there. Let's have a nice little tootle about. Oh, you might have noticed as well that big thing on my head as well. <laughs> so that's a DJI Action 4. I've still got the GoPros, but I'm switching to uh, DJI now, and I'm just waiting for the next the the other one to come. So I've replaced this camera here, the GoPro 11, with the DJI Action 4, and I've got a DJI uh, Mic 2 in my helmet. So that's what I'm using today. So it Bluetooths to it. So there's no wire. So I'm just testing that out a little bit. See how it is. I tell you what, it's a cracking day for it, it's lovely. All I've got on is a t-shirt. Underneath here. And uh, yeah, I'm all right, it's just cool, it's nice. Scammond and Dan with the M62 in the background there. You, you'll have seen this, I've, I've had shown this on my channel about 2,000 times to be honest. You'll be sick of me coming up this route, probably. But I just wanted to come out and have a, a quick one because I wanted to... Uh, I just wanted to catch up with you guys, really, because I hadn't put out many videos. I've done them two over Christmas, which uh, did crap, but whatever. They will do because they were something different for me, really. I don't do that type of video, and I just thought, oh, I'll try something different. the beast careful around here because I can come flying around bloody corner I think she's going dogging in dogger's car park look it's full today Over at Mars, I think, and have a have a mooch around. The thing is, I'm a bit worried about that camera up there because uh, it's only held on with a bloody spongy thing. I'd need to put a lanyard on it, really. Dodgy corner time. Gotta be careful here, because people come flying on here. I think we're all right though, bloody hell. We're all right. Beautiful. It's like a haze in the in the valley there, it's really weird. I hope the camera picks it up. Probably not because we're looking directly into the sun really. But uh yeah. We'll go up Mars them or see see if there's any uh, hang gliders or whatever they call them, then with parachutes. Are they parasailers or something? I'm, I don't know. It don't look like they is actually. Oh well. But there's a big black cloud above me. Don't think it's going to rain. We'll have a chat about what's going on later on this year, or very soon actually. Just have a quick blast up this road. Look at this. 
dumping the shit there. Dirty bastards. Look at this, Marsden Moor. Beautiful, isn't it? I don't know if you can see it, but there's Manchester Road. That's a great road to go up and over the tops, Manchester on. It's not bad. I don't think anybody will be up here because it's like, what time is it? Two o'clock? Yeah, so I'm waiting for an email off Argus. There's no motorbikes around carry on well the dam's empty wonder why that is because they're all full round by me oh fucking hell I've got learner here This is a belting road as well when it's dry. I came up here the other day to do this video and there were bloody snow <laughs> all on the hills here. <laughs> but the video quality looks shy, it were overexposed. So I'm hoping it's a lot better today. Could have done that in third. me out this corner here I always feel as if I'm gonna go into a bloody fence oh it feels like summer <laughs> it really does it feels bloody awesome yeah, I can't wait for it. I'm, I'm, I've been so depressed over Christmas <laughs> because I haven't been able to ride my bike much. I even bought all the heated gear not so long ago because I was getting so fed up with not being able to get out on the bikes. It was just way too cold. I don't know if I'm going to bother actually doing a review on that stuff. Everybody's done it to bloody death, haven't they? Look at that for a view. Lovely. fishermen out is there? I think there's one over there. Yeah it's bloody lovely around here. Also, what plans have we got for this year? Right, so, I don't want to spoil it and tell you, but basically we've got three, three trips planned. I've got one coming up pretty soon, which is going to be absolutely epic. I mean, I'm not just saying that to try and get you to subscribe and all that sort of shite. This is really a good one and I'm, I can't wait to do it. And I'm doing it with another motor vlogger, so there's just me and him. Or it could be a her, you never know. Fast he could have got lucky on the old Tinder. <laughs> That's another thing, if you haven't seen that, if you go on to Motorvlog, U uh, Motorvlog UK's channel, he's made a video about me, uh, a song, he's written a song, and it's so professionally done, it's just bloody epic. He's done guitar, he's done acoustic, he's done the singing. Honestly, it's well worth watching. You need to go see that. In fact, I'll put a link in the description for that because it's just so funny. 
Uh, yeah, so that's a good one. So we've got that coming up, that trip, which is a week away. And then the month after that, when we come back, we've got ABR Festival. But in between the ABR and my first trip, we're think well, we're talking about a group subs ride. So we're not going to do it individually. We're going to do it as a group. And I suppose I might as well tell you this bit. We don't know the dates yet for sure, because we need to all plan it together. But we're looking at a route that meets up in... You weren't even looking, were you? Uh, we're going to meet up in Newtown, Wales, just behind the McDonald's in the car park. You may know it. And then we're going to head down to Crossgates on that Ace Road. And then we're going to cut across to Aberystwyth. And then from Aberystwyth up through the Mac Loop and to Bala. And then that's when we'll probably say goodbyes because we'll all head off in different directions then. Right, let's give it some air. Jesus Christ, it's bloody fast. <laughs> I say that every time I'm out on this bloody bike. <laughs> Honestly, I tell you what, I've been blessed with this day, and I? It's been bloody awesome. How beautiful. Look at the windmills over there. Got all of them down that way. Let's get past this chump in a second. Hopefully. <laughs> Smell weed. Also guys, I am I'm selling a couple of items. I don't know if you're interested, but I have got the Road Go 2 for sale, 125 quid. Go to my uh, go to my Facebook page. In fact, I've got all socials down below. Uh, so you can click on them and follow if you really want to, but under, if you're a member of my Facebook mates or whatever, then I'll sell it you for 125 quid. But other than that, it's going on the marketplace if it doesn't sell, and that'll be 150. I'm also selling all the panniers and all the pannier rack and everything for this bike. Uh, I haven't put that on yet. I need to take pictures and stuff like that. And I'm selling them because I want to go with the soft bags. I want to try them for a change. So again, I'm flogging all them. That's all the nuts and bolts and screws and brackets. If you bought that off me and you've got this bike, in fact, 2021 onwards. Hello, darling. Look at her smile. Did you see her? Right smile on her face. Uh, yeah, so that's a 20, if you, uh, 21 onwards, it'll fit that. It'll fit any KTM Super Adventure then. And it's the 51 litre top box. And I think it's a 27 and a 32 or summer on, you know, the odds, you know, so you've got a bigger one on the left hand side than a smaller one on the, the right hand side. Right, well, we're just coming into Rippenden now. Rippenden. I've also got some new boots as well. In fact, if, you see, if you're on Instagram, you'll have seen them. I bought the Klim uh, GTX boots. They were fucking expensive, but they were the only ones that fit me well and were comfortable. I tried on Alpine Stars, City, TCX. I've tried on loads of pairs and all of them just felt like crap. And these are the ones that felt solid. Yeah, so sorry I haven't been uploading, but I'll be honest, I just haven't felt like it. I think I'm one of them people that's really affected by the weather. You know, if it's a shit day, then I'm, I'm down in the dumps, <laughs> which is quite often <laughs> in this country. Uh, but if it's, uh, if it's nice, then I'm, I'm happy, happy as Larry. Well, I might be going to Argus now to get the other bloody DJI to replace that GoPro soon. They said four o'clock, but in it, in it shit this, this is what advertisers do now. So this is even Argus. 
So I went on last night, looked at the at the combo set that I wanted for the DJ, and it said collect any time from uh, Brig House, Sainsbury's, from 9 a.m. onwards. So I'm like, get in there. I'll have that, and then I'll go first thing in the morning, get it sorted, and then we'll uh, we're all ready for the for the uh, vlog and all that lot. Anyway, they fucking emailed me straight away and says, oh, you can pick it up at four o'clock in the afternoon. It's like, you fucking knobhead. Could have told me that before. I could have gone to Woodersfield and bought it. Pricks they are. Fucking consumers. Now, they fucking sell you stuff and they do it, and it doesn't do what, it, what they claim it does. Anyway, I'm going to get off now, lads, because uh, I'm going to start ranting on about shit. <laughs> so I hope you're all well. If you did like this video, smash that like button, subscribe if you want to see more crap like this, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.